The one-eyed giants called Cyclopes are among the most recognizable monsters of Greek myth. The most famous Cyclops, Polyphemus, lives on the island of Sicily and meets his match in Odysseus, the hero of Homer's Odyssey. In 1342, residents of the Sicilian town of Trapani discover a gigantic skeleton in a cave. According to Italian humanist Giovanni Boccaccio, the townsfolk identify this as the skeleton of Polyphemus. They later display it in the local church. In 1664, Jesuit scholar Athanasius Kircher visits the skeleton and reports that it measures 30 feet long. But what could this giant skeleton really be? At the National Institute of France in January 1796, naturalist Georges Cuvier proposes a radical idea. He believes the skeleton is probably that of an extinct Mediterranean elephant and that the discovery of massive elephant bones, which look much like human bones, had given rise to myths and legends of giants since antiquity. His suggestion, however, is overshadowed by his more substantive work establishing for the first time that species can become extinct. More than a century later, the Austrian scholar Athenio Abel revives Cuvier's theory, this time with more striking evidence. He notes that the large nasal opening at the center of an elephant skull could easily be mistaken for the single eye socket of a cyclops. This, Abel says, is the likely origin of the cyclops myth. Abel's theory is widely cited, and in 2000 it is popularized by folklorist Adrian Mayer in her book The First Fossil Hunters. Today, many scholars accept the idea that the fossil remains of extinct species gave shape to ancient myths as prehistoric humans crafted stories to explain the strange bones they found eroding out of the earth. <laughs>